The reason I brought up the synthetic organic chemist thing is I'm a science communicator and it's it's so funny to me that the way that terms are understood inside mm-hmm. and outside science. And yes, the phrase synthetic organic chemist, that just does not compute to the public. Yeah, because you don't put synthetic with organic when you go to the produce section and say, oh, this is an organic apple. That's a synthetic apple. How can be synthetic be organic? Describe for the good people. I think most people think of synthetic as like fake leather, right? Plastic. Yeah, plastic. Anything yeah. synthetic is what you worry about maybe being in your tap water, right? Yeah. And then organic is thought of as healthy or uh, pure. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. D- describe real quickly those words in actual chemistry. So let us start from the word organic. When you have this organic chemistry, what it means is you're dealing with compounds that contain carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, and possibly sulfur. What we call chnops, you know. So any compounds made out of those elements are considered organic. And so any any person who works with those chemicals made out of these CHNOPS, that person is called an organic chemist. He works from the chemistry portion of it, trying to work with these atoms or the combination of the atoms molecules to put them together in a fashion that was not intended or seen in nature. And there comes the synthetic portion. So when you are a synthetic organic chemist, you are working with organic molecules on organic building blocks and creating chemistry in the lab, which becomes synthetic. When another chemist hears that you are a synthetic chemist, they know that you're, you're able to synthesize new molecules in your lab. And when they hear that you're an organic chemist, that means that carbon-based molecules are your jam. 